Hello guys. Some time ago I ordered some items online at wish.com and it took a while but they've all arrived and today I'm going to show you in this video what they are like, if they actually work and if these items will be good to use as our supplies or that they are rubbish and that you shouldn't buy them. So let's have a look at what I bought. First I've got this set of eight so-called micron liners, they are inking pens and they come in eight different uh, tips. I also got myself a set of 12 colored pens and at first sight they look a lot like Stabilo pens. And I also got this set of 12 watercolor color pencils. And I'm really excited to try these ones out because they um, look a lot light, like Faber-Castell pencils. And on the website they also claimed that these were actually Faber-Castell pens. And the last thing I got is this weird kind of glove thingy. And I think you're supposed to put it on your hand and then it should prevent your work from smudging if you go over it with your hand. So let's have a look at this glove thingy. So I took it out of its package and it feels very soft and comfortable to wear. But as soon as I put it on, I noticed that my fingers are way too long for this type. Uh, I couldn't pick a size, so it's just a one size thing. But if you are considering buying this, uh, have a look at your own hands. If, they ha if your hands are uh, long, if you have long fingers, this is probably not going to fit you. At least for me, it's way too small. Um, but I do think it looks kind of cool. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to wear this thing to see if it is comfortable to wear. So let's have a look at the next item. These are the pens I bought. And on the first side they look kind of okay, they um, have no inscription on them, no name, no brand, no number, nothing. And the first thing I noticed as well was that the color distribution is a bit weird. I got three greens, but no blues, and three reds, but no oranges. And I think on the website they had a picture with all the colors in one package and then the, the package would contain all the colors. Let's try these out. So I took a sheet of paper and I took the pens one by one and colored a square, square to see what the color is like and also if, to see if they actually have ink in them and that they aren't empty. And so far, um, I'm positive about these pens. They have enough ink, they are not empty. There are, they, the colors are all right. Not so bad so far. And next I compare them to some actual Stabilo pens to compare some of the color quality. And I noticed a bit of difference uh, in the way that I apply the color to the paper. The Stabilo pens have more of a tip brush, while the pens have a more rounded tip. So my overall opinion of these pens is that they are very cheap, they have good colors, and none of the pens arrived uh, broken, empty or leaking, so that's a good thing. But they have strange colors, and um, not all the colors were in one package. Um, also, if you apply the colors to the paper, they scratch the paper a bit, but overall there's nothing wrong with these pens and I think I might actually use them for writing and highlighting things in my notes, but if you want, want to use these pens for art, you might want to consider getting something better. The next thing I bought is this set of 8 micron pens. And at first sight, they look pretty, they look like micron pens. So I am very curious to see if they actually are micron pens, if they work like micron pens, and if they are what the advertisement on the website claims they are. 
Before I test these out, I take some precautions and I put on some plastic gloves to prevent any ink from getting on my hands. And then I take the pens one by one and I test them out and I start with the largest tip and I work it down towards the smallest tip. And then I also compare these pens to my uh, Staedtler pens and even though they are not the same brand as the Micron pens, these are pens that are alright quality in my eyes. So I compare these ones to the Staedtler ones. Something I notice is that some pens have great ink and they have a very nice black ink, while other pens have some sort of greyish ink and it feels like the ink is not flowing through the tip as it should. So a good thing is that this package comes with a large variety of tip sizes. But when I try this out on paper, I don't see that much difference between the 1.0 and the 0.05 size. Well, there actually should be a big difference between these tips. So I also compare this to my Staedtler tips and you see that there's quite a difference in the tip sizes. Besides this, the pens also claim to be waterproof. So of course I'm going to test these out, this out and I'm taking a watercolor brush and I go over the inked part and it turns out that these pens are not so waterproof after all. So for my final opinion on these pens, I would definitely not use these pens for watercolor and you could use them just for line work but to be honest I don't really trust them. I am too afraid that at one point they will just burst open and that there will be ink all over the place. Alright let's have a look at my last item. I can take off my plastic gloves again and I just put on the black thingy. And let's have a look at the package that these watercolor pencils come in. On the package it also says that they are watercolor pencils and on the back there is a section where you can fill in your name, your address and your school and this is safe to use for children which is very nice. So I take it out of the package and I can see that it comes with a watercolor brush but I'm not too excited about this brush, so let's not use this one. The colors look alright on first sight. They have a nice variety and only one of the tips is broken, so that's not too bad. Let's test these out by applying them on a sheet of paper. And I'm not too amazed by the pigment of these pencils. I've seen worse, but I have to press really, really hard to get any pigment onto the paper. And also, I will show you this in a picture in a second, but the black pencil really scratches the paper and I'm afraid that the other pencils will do this too. And this will leave um, tiny scratches in your paper and in the end you will see this. To show you how little pigmentation they contain, I uh, compare them to the real Faber Castell Polychromos pencils and then you can see that the Polychromos pencils are just so much more vibrant and they contain so much more pigment. I also wanted to see if these pencils actually blend together, so I'm using a dark green and a light green and I noticed that they don't really blend together, they just scratch the paper in different layers. Uh, and I also compare this to the uh, Polygramus pencils. And because the package said that they are watercolor pencils, I take my brush again and I go over them to see if they are soluble in water. And they actually are, so I'm amazed that they do work, um, that they do become paint when you add water. But as you can see, there's not that much of a pig there's not much pigment in the watercolor that you get. To put these pencils to a final test, I'm going to draw two cherries and for the one cherry I'm going to use the Wish pencils and for the other one I'm going to use my Polychromos pencils. 
and in the end it does look okay maybe i do get some pi some pigment on the paper but the these pencils are so hard to blend and there's no white in this package so i can barely make any highlights so my overall review of these pencils is that they are very cheap they have a nice variety of colors they are water soluble and i've seen worse but they really scratch the paper they have almost no pigment and they are terrible in blending. So if you want to make some drawings or art, I would definitely not buy these pencils. But if you want to buy these for kids to draw with, that's no problem at all. So let's come back to this glove thingy that I've been wearing throughout this video. I do have to say that it felt kind of cool wearing this and the fabric is very comfortable but it's just really not my size. It's too small for me and it even left an imprint in my skin, so that's not good and I'm not going to wear this. But I guess if you have smaller fingers, you might want to wear this. Um, it could be a fun present for someone who is a bit artistic. But I cannot assure you that this actually works. I don't know if it actually works. So that's it for this video, guys. I really enjoyed trying out these items and giving you my review of them. Let me know in the comments below if you have ever purchased something from Wish or that you would want to try out these items. And also let me know if you like this video and if you maybe want to see more product reviews of art supplies.